For the first time in four years, the Heart of Georgia Quilters Guild is set to have a show. Now, it used to happen every two years until coronavirus came along. Suzanne Lawler sat down with one woman whose work will be featured, and we're going to show you how she doesn't have to do much stitching by hand to get the beautiful pieces done. I can do one in a week, whereas it might take months, sometimes years. Helen Anderson started quilting 35 years ago. These are all different kinds of uh, trees. I got to tell on myself here. When I first came to meet Helen, I thought I was going to find a woman sitting on a couch with two knitting needles making a quilt. Boy, was I wrong. Quilting technology is pretty amazing these days. This is a long arm quilting machine. Yeah, quilting today is not uh, sitting around a quilt frame. The widow uses a roller with a blade to cut the panels, separates them, and then hits up a traditional sewing machine to put the pieces together. She figures she's made at least 65 pieces of art. And this is my Granny Elliot. My Granny Elliot lived with us and she taught me how to do my first hand stitching. A while back, her husband Edwin passed away. He was a fly fisherman and this quilt honors him. It kind of makes me happy too because I've been able to capture some of those memories. Many quilts are squares of memories. They're literally the fabric of our lives. Or whether it's a quilt that you're going to put on your bed and snuggle up with, it is a big hug. And people just don't realize how important it is when somebody feels strongly enough about you to give you a quilt. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. I like that. A quilt is a hug. The show happens next Saturday and Sunday, April 1st and 2nd at the Methodist Children's Home on Pierce Avenue. They will have demonstrations on hand if you'd like to get into the hobby. There will also be a raffled quilt that someone will go home with. It takes seven bucks to get in the door and the show will run from nine to five in the afternoon again. That is next weekend.